I mean, people always talk about that hockey people stick together, that it's a unique little culture um, in, a, in, a, in a group of, of sports fans. Gino at the time was a patient at birth. I found out Gino was a hockey player, played for Pelham, scored the game-winning goal to take Pelham to the state semifinals against my town, Irvington. I never thought when I asked Ryan for an autograph, for a patient of mine, that it would ever blossom to this. Gino was in therapy, and I remember going across the hall and saying, uh, Gino, I just got this email from Ryan McDonough. You did? Yeah, he wants to know if you, if you can come to the home opener on, on Sunday. Oh, and Gino was just beaming, beaming. It was his first outing since his accident. So his first access to a real big public gathering was Madison Square Garden and meeting up with Ryan McDonough. That was Gino's re-entry to life. And, um, I think that's the best thing with Burke is they're giving people hope. They're giving people uh, an opportunity to believe again and, and believe in their dreams that they have of you know whether whether it is to, to get back to walking or, or feeling like themselves again. And Gino and his family were beyond ecstatic. Um, Gino was thrilled and. You know, Ryan signed his jersey and, and gave him a signed cap. It's pretty special every time, you know, he comes down for a game. He's come a long way both with his progress and his you know, approach on life. You know, first few times he never really cracked jokes and, and here he is cracking jokes about the team. It's pretty fun every time. You never know really what to expect now because he's, uh, you know, pretty vocal. We talk a lot about uh, other things in hockey too. And, Way he's doing in school and, and relationships and stuff like that so it's uh, it's great to see us kind of our relationship evolve too um, you know, ultimately uh, you know, want to be there for him whenever he needs advice or, or continue to uh, you know be there for his family and his friends he's even gone as far as introducing me to his beautiful wife Kaylee and me it really meant a lot to me he is by far the coolest guy. A simple text from Ryan, a game to watch, and not cheer just for an athlete, but somebody special to Gino. Um, he's been a champion in more ways than one. The captain, Ryan McDonough, with the only goal in his usual solid defensive game. My uncle Steve, yeah, really playing 12 years in the NFL, you know, told me numerous times, if you're gonna be playing hockey for the next you know, 20, 25 years, hopefully, if you stay healthy, but then you've got a whole life ahead of you after that. And it's the relationships that you build, the experiences that you have, that you have to take with you when you're done playing hockey and, and make sure you give back to the people that helped get you to where you are. He doesn't have to win a Stanley Cup in my, in my eyes. He's probably the, the greatest Ranger because of what he did. Um, for one of my patients. Ryan McDonough coming in from the point set up in front of the Rangers. Perhaps one of them can play 